Chronicles of the Time Wanderer In a world where time was merely a concept, Peter Anderson, a brilliant physicist and inventor, stumbled upon a discovery that would change the course of human history. His invention, the Temporal Nexus, was a device that allowed him to travel through time. Little did he know that this invention would take him on an incredible journey filled with struggles, inspiration, and motivation. Part 1. The Leap of Faith Peter Anderson stood before the shimmering portal created by the temporal nexus, his heart pounding with excitement and trepidation. He had worked tirelessly for years to make this moment possible. Taking a deep breath, he stepped through the swirling vortex, leaving behind the familiar world of the 21st century. Peter found himself in the heart of ancient Egypt, surrounded by majestic pyramids and bustling marketplaces. He struggled to adapt to a world vastly different from his own, but his determination pushed him forward. As he interacted with the people of this era, he discovered their wisdom, determination, and their unwavering belief in the power of the human spirit. Traveling to Renaissance Italy, Peter encountered the great artists and thinkers of the time. He watched in awe as Leonardo da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa and discussed science with Galileo Galilei. The struggle here was the relentless pursuit of knowledge and creativity that inspired Peter to push his own boundaries. In the midst of the chaos of World War II, Peter witnessed the resilience of the human spirit. He met soldiers who faced insurmountable odds but never gave up. It was here that he truly understood the importance of courage and determination. Peter himself faced danger as he tried to blend in and navigate the turbulent period. Part 2. The Moon Landing, Reaching for the Stars As he stood on the surface of the moon during the Apollo 11 mission, Peter felt the magnitude of human achievement. The struggle was to overcome seemingly impossible challenges, and the inspiration was the indomitable human spirit that had led to this momentous achievement. Traveling to a future he couldn't comprehend, Peter encountered advanced technology, environmental harmony, and a society that had overcome many of the struggles of his time. He was inspired by the vision of a better world and resolved to bring some of that inspiration back to his own era. With each journey, Peter grew as a person. He had learned from the past, appreciated the present, and gained hope from the future. Returning to his own time, he was determined to use his knowledge and experiences to make the world a better place. Epilogue, The Legacy of the Time Wanderer Peter Anderson's adventures through time had left an indelible mark on him and the world. He had faced struggles that tested his resolve, found motivation in the unyielding spirit of humanity, and inspired those around him to strive for greatness. His legacy would continue to inspire generations to come. In the end, the story of the time traveler, Peter Anderson, was not just about the adventure of time travel but a journey of self, discovery, personal growth, and the enduring power of the human spirit to overcome obstacles, find inspiration, and motivate change. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Chronicles of Eternity a Time Traveler's Odyssey In the annals of time, there exists a narrative woven through the fabric of history, a tapestry of triumph and tribulation. This is the story of Alex Turner, 
a time traveler whose adventures transcended epochs and whose journey became a testament to the indomitable human spirit. Part 1 – The Genesis of Time The journey began in the dimly lit laboratory of Professor Eleanor Wright, a maverick physicist determined to unravel the mysteries of time itself. A serendipitous encounter with Alex Turner, a brilliant but disenchanted graduate student, set their grand experiment in motion. Together, they built a time machine, a device that would catapult them through the corridors of history. In their first leap, they arrived in the heart of ancient Rome, amid the splendor and chaos of the Colosseum. But what was meant to be an exhilarating experience turned perilous as they found themselves embroiled in a gladiatorial battle. The struggle for survival was real, but the hope of returning home inspired them to endure. Their next leap took them to Renaissance Florence, where the genius of da Vinci and the artistry of Michelangelo reigned supreme. However, they arrived as impoverished artists struggling to make ends meet. It was in this era that they faced their greatest motivational challenge. The need to adapt and grow became a driving force. Alex, having always been an engineer, used his knowledge to craft ingenious creations that piqued the curiosity of the Florentine elite. Overcoming skepticism and relentless failure, they inspired themselves and the people around them. Their determination, like a beacon, lit the path to success and self-discovery. Part 2 – The Tumultuous Tides of Revolution The 18th century witnessed a time of revolution, as Alex and Eleanor found themselves in the midst of the American War of Independence. The struggle for freedom and the forging of a nation ignited a spark within them. The trials of war tested their mettle, but they learned that hope and unity could transcend even the darkest of times. In the turbulent storm of revolution, they became true patriots, standing shoulder to shoulder with those who sought to shape a better future. The spirit of liberty was their guiding star, motivating them to persevere in the face of adversity. Their next leap brought them to an era of lost civilizations, exploring the mysteries of the Maya, the beauty of the Inca, and the enigma of Atlantis. It was in this era that they confronted their own limitations. The struggle to comprehend ancient cultures and languages was a humbling experience. They learned that true wisdom came not only from understanding the past but from respecting the knowledge of others. In their struggles to piece together the fragments of forgotten civilizations, they were motivated by an insatiable curiosity and the belief that every piece of knowledge, no matter how obscure, was a piece of the puzzle in their quest for enlightenment. Part 3 – The Industrial Revolution and Innovation The 19th century ushered in the Industrial Revolution, where technological progress was paramount. It was a time of innovation and rapid change. Alex and Eleanor found themselves in the midst of this transformative era, and their struggle to adapt to the rapid pace of change was both motivational and inspiring. Their journey through this era was a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. They adapted to the demands of the time, embracing the power of invention and the opportunities that arose from adversity. Their experiences illuminated the importance of adaptability and the enduring spirit of innovation. Part 4 – The Age of Exploration The 20th century marked the age of exploration, not just of lands, but of the cosmos itself. The struggle of Alex and Eleanor to understand the cosmos and the ever, 
expanding universe was both daunting and enlightening. Their quest for knowledge and the mysteries of the universe became their driving force. Their journey in this era was marked by moments of awe and despair, as they reached for the stars and grappled with the vastness of space. Yet, their indomitable spirit and unwavering determination to seek the truth about the universe fueled their motivation to keep moving forward. Their final leap brought them to the not, so, distant future, where they witnessed the culmination of human achievements and the prospects of a utopian world. Here, they were motivated by the hope of what humanity could achieve when united by a common vision. Their journey through this era was a reflection of the enduring belief that the struggles of the past were the stepping stones to a brighter future. The story of Alex Turner and Eleanor Wright was a testament to the human spirit's capacity for growth, adaptability, and unyielding determination. In the end, their odyssey through time was a vivid portrayal of the human experience, an enduring struggle, an unwavering motivation, and an inspiring testament to the indomitable spirit. The chronicles of eternity will forever be etched in the annals of history, reminding us that no matter the era, no matter the challenges, the human spirit can transcend time and space to shape a better future. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Breaking the Infinite Loop In the quiet town of Everdale, nestled beneath the shadow of the towering Pine Ridge Mountains, there lived a man named Daniel. He was an ordinary man with ordinary dreams, and his life was nothing extraordinary until a fateful day when he found himself trapped in an endless time loop. Chapter 1 The Monotonous Beginning it all started on a crisp autumn morning, as Daniel went about his daily routine. Wake up, brew sh his teeth, make some coffee, and head to his uninspiring job at the local accounting firm. The clock ticked, and the day passed by just as any other day had in his mundane life. One evening, as Daniel walked home, he couldn't shake off a strange feeling of déjà vu. He realized that he had experienced this very moment before. The same people walked by, the same leaves rustled in the same trees, and a sense of eerie familiarity overtook him. The next day, as he awoke and the events of the previous day began to unfold exactly as before, Daniel couldn't deny it any longer. He was stuck in a never-ending loop. Panic and confusion set in, and he wondered how this had happened and what he could do to break free. Over the days and weeks that followed, Daniel made numerous attempts to change the course of events, but each time, he was met with failure. No matter what he did, the loop repeated itself, and he remained powerless to escape. As days turned into weeks and then months, Daniel's life lost all meaning. The endless repetition of his existence left him in a state of profound despair. He withdrew from his friends, lost his job, and his once, neat apartment became a mess. In the depths of his despair, a chance encounter with a woman named Anna brought a glimmer of hope. She, too, was trapped in a time loop, and together they decided to figure out a way to break free. Anna became Daniel's confidant and ally in this seemingly impossible quest. Chapter 2 – The Pursuit of Knowledge Daniel and Anna embarked on a journey to understand the nature of the time loop. They studied books on time travel consulted with scientists, and even explored the mystical and supernatural. It was a tireless pursuit of knowledge, 
and their bond grew stronger as they delved deeper into the mysteries of their predicament. One day, after countless experiments and discussions, they stumbled upon a clue that might hold the key to breaking the loop. It involved a long, forgotten legend of an ancient artifact hidden in the Pine Ridge Mountains. It was said to possess the power to manipulate time. With newfound hope and determination, Daniel and Anna set out on a perilous journey to the Pine Ridge Mountains. They encountered treacherous terrain, wild animals, and faced their inner demons. Along the way, they found themselves growing as individuals, and their love for each other deepened. Upon reaching the heart of the mountains, they discovered the hidden cavern where the ancient artifact was rumored to be. They faced a series of challenges and a final test of their faith and resolve. With the artifact in hand, they returned to Everdale to confront the loop once and for all. Back in Everdale, as Daniel and Anna stood at the exact moment when the loop typically reset, they used the artifact to disrupt the flow of time. A blinding flash of light enveloped them, and they felt a surge of energy like never before. The loop shattered, and the world around them began to change. As the dust settled, Daniel and Anna found themselves in a world that was familiar yet fundamentally altered. Time had moved forward, and their actions had consequences. They were free from the loop, but they now faced the challenge of rebuilding their lives. Epilogue, The Legacy of Resilience the story of Daniel and Anna serves as a testament to the power of human resilience and the strength of the human spirit. They had overcome insurmountable odds and, in the process, had not only broken free from the time loop but also discovered the depths of their own potential. Their love for each other and their unwavering determination had led to a new beginning, where every day was a chance to embrace life's unpredictable and beautiful moments. In the end, they realized that life was not about avoiding difficulties, but about confronting them head, on and growing stronger with every challenge. And so, as the sun set over the Pine Ridge Mountains, Daniel and Anna looked forward to a future full of endless possibilities, with a profound appreciation for the value of time and the power of love. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Breaking the Infinite Loop A Tale of Resilience and Redemption In the quiet town of Havenbrook, nestled in the rolling hills of Westwood County, a story of struggle, motivation, and inspiration unfolded. It was a story that transcended time itself, a tale of one man's relentless determination to break free from the suffocating grasp of an infinite time loop. Part 1. Trapped in Eternity David Reynolds was an unassuming middle, aged man, living a modest life in Havenbrook. He had a routine that was as predictable as the town's seasons. Every morning, he would wake up at 7 a.m., enjoy a cup of black coffee, and head to his job as a librarian at the Havenbrook Public Library. It was a life that many might find monotonous, but David cherished it. He loved the solitude and the tranquility of the library, surrounded by shelves of books that whispered secrets of the past. However, on a fateful winter's day, his life took an unexpected turn. David was preparing to lock up the library for the night when a strange sensation washed over him. The world around him blurred, and he found himself standing at the entrance of the library once more, as if he had never left. Bewildered, 
He dismissed it as fatigue and went about his duties. As days turned into weeks, David's strange experiences multiplied. He began to recognize the subtle nuances, the deja vu of every day. He knew what people would say before they said it, where misplaced books would be, and even the exact number of seconds it took for a particular bookshelf light to flicker. It was as if he was living the same day over and over again. Part 2 – A Lonely Descent David's life began to unravel. The endless repetition of days left him feeling isolated and hopeless. His relationships with friends and family strained as he couldn't help but predict every interaction, leaving conversations devoid of spontaneity. Time lost its meaning, and David's world became a never-ending cycle of deja vu. His only solace lay in the dusty, forgotten tomes of the library's archives. David began to pore over ancient texts about time loops, hoping to find a way to escape his predicament. Night after night, he read by the dim light of his desk lamp, the pages filled with stories of those who had been trapped in similar predicaments and their often futile attempts to break free. Part 3 – A Glimpse of Hope one chilly evening, while scanning the shelves of the library's history section, David stumbled upon a peculiar book, The Key to Breaking the Cycle. The author, a reclusive physicist named Dr. Eleanor Monroe, had dedicated her life to unraveling the mysteries of time. Her book promised a way out of the time loop, but the solution seemed nothing short of impossible. Undeterred, David reached out to Dr. Monroe, who lived in seclusion at the edge of town. The aging scientist agreed to meet him, her eyes revealing the weight of a profound secret. She explained that the time loop was a result of a tear in the fabric of reality, caused by a failed experiment of her own. The only way to mend it was to collect a series of temporal artifacts scattered across the town and to unravel the mystery of the loop itself. Part 4 – The Quest Begins With a newfound sense of purpose, David embarked on a quest to gather the elusive temporal artifacts. Each one was hidden in plain sight, disguised as everyday objects. The first was an antique pocket watch, followed by an old hourglass, and an intricate sundial. Each artifact, when examined, contained cryptic messages and enigmatic clues about the nature of the time loop. David's journey led him to confront his own weaknesses, facing challenges he had never before encountered. He realized that breaking the loop wasn't just about solving puzzles, it was about evolving as a person. His endless repetition had made him complacent, but now he had to adapt, learn, and grow. Part 5 – A Shifting Reality As David collected more artifacts, the fabric of the time loop began to shift. Days that had once been monotonous now held unexpected surprises. People around him changed, as did his relationships with them. He began to connect with others, forging bonds that were deeper and more genuine than the hollow interactions he'd grown accustomed to. The once, seemingly insurmountable puzzles now made sense to him, as if the loop was guiding him toward a greater understanding of time and existence. David became more perceptive, more attuned to the world around him. He realized that he had been given a unique gift, the opportunity to live the same day in a different way. Part 6 – The Final Revelation The culmination of David's quest led him back to Dr. Eleanor Monroe, who revealed the most crucial artifact, 
the Chrono Compass. This mystical device had the power to mend the tear in the fabric of reality, but it required a deep understanding of the time loop itself. With newfound knowledge and a sense of unity with the world, David and Dr. Monroe worked tirelessly to decipher the workings of the time loop. They delved into the realms of quantum physics, philosophy, and spirituality, merging their insights into a groundbreaking revelation. David discovered that the time loop was, in fact, a reflection of his own life choices. The loop repeated because he had been stuck in a cycle of predictability and comfort. To break free, he had to make choices that defied the routine and allowed him to embrace the unknown. Armed with the chrono compass, David stood at the threshold of eternity. The decision was his, would he mend the tear and return to a life of predictability, or would he embrace the uncertainty of the world outside the loop? Part 7. Breaking the Infinite Loop With a deep breath, David activated the chrono compass, mending the tear in reality. As the world around him shifted and twisted, the time loop dissolved into a shimmering veil of light. He felt a surge of energy as he was thrust forward, leaving the infinite loop behind. In the newfound reality, David's life was a tapestry of possibilities. He continued his work at the library, but now with a sense of purpose and a passion for helping others discover the magic of books. He rekindled old relationships, and his interactions with people were genuine and heartfelt. David's story inspired the people of Havenbrook. They saw in him a testament to the power of resilience and the courage to break free from the chains of predictability. The town, once regarded as mundane, became a place of adventure, connection, and transformation. David and Dr. Monroe continued their research, exploring the mysteries of time and space. They shared their knowledge with the world, pushing the boundaries of science and philosophy. Their work touched the lives of countless individuals, encouraging them to seize control of their own destinies. Part 8 – An Ever Unfolding Journey As the years passed, David's life became a journey of perpetual discovery. He embraced each day as a unique opportunity, cherishing the uncertainties that lay ahead. The time loop, once a prison of repetition, had become a catalyst for growth and transformation. David's tale, a story of struggle, motivation, and inspiration, spread far and wide, reaching those who felt trapped in their own loops of existence. It served as a reminder that within every repetitive day, there lies the potential for profound change and the opportunity to break free from the shackles of the past. In Havenbrook, where the hills rolled on and the seasons turned, David Reynolds' story lived on as a testament to the enduring spirit of human resilience and the limitless possibilities of an ever unfolding journey. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. The Endless Revolution Breaking the Time Loop Once upon a time, in the small town of Hopeville, there lived a man named Daniel Hartwell. Hopeville was a charming place, nestled in a valley, surrounded by lush forests and crystal, clear lakes. Daniel was a simple man, leading a content life as a school teacher, surrounded by the beauty of nature and the laughter of his students. But Daniel had a secret, a secret that had been haunting him for years. Chapter 1 – The Inescapable Cycle 
It all began one fateful summer's day when Daniel stumbled upon an ancient hourglass in the attic of his family home. This hourglass was no ordinary one, it possessed a mysterious aura. When he turned it, he found himself inexplicably transported back to the very same moment he discovered it. An endless loop had taken hold of his life. For years, Daniel tried to break free from this time loop, but all his attempts were in vain. He consulted experts, delved into countless books on the subject, and even sought the help of spiritual gurus, but nothing could release him from the relentless cycle. As the years went by, Daniel's once, content life began to crumble. His students grew up, his friends moved away, and Hopeville transformed. He became increasingly isolated, with only the whispering winds and the ticking of the cursed hourglass for company. With each repetitive cycle, Daniel aged, but time itself seemed immune to his aging. The frustration and hopelessness gnawed at his soul. He felt like a prisoner of time, and every new loop weighed on him like an anchor. One day, as Daniel wandered through the town park, he noticed a young woman reading a book under a cherry blossom tree. Her name was Emily, a poet with a free spirit and an unyielding belief in the extraordinary. She was the first person to notice Daniel's suffering and saw through the facade he had carefully constructed. Emily, intrigued by the tale of the time loop, offered to help Daniel. With her creative and unorthodox approach, she began to investigate the origins of the hourglass. Together, they embarked on a quest to unlock its secrets and break the cycle. The quest led them to dusty archives, ancient libraries, and cryptic riddles hidden within the town's folklore. Daniel and Emily uncovered a tale of a long, forgotten sorcerer who had crafted the hourglass as a test of strength for those who dared challenge time itself. The sorcerer's message was clear, only a heart full of courage and a spirit never willing to give up could break the time loop. Chapter 2 – Trials and Tribulations The path to breaking the time loop was riddled with challenges. Daniel and Emily faced a series of trials, both physical and emotional. They confronted their deepest fears, unraveling the tangled threads of their own lives, and found strength they never knew they possessed. Daniel and Emily's journey taught them that resilience was the key to breaking the time loop. They had to endure countless setbacks, adapting and learning from their mistakes. They grew wiser, stronger, and more determined with each cycle. Hopeville was not exempt from the consequences of the time loop. As the town crumbled and faded through the cycles, the people of Hopeville grew more disconnected. Daniel and Emily, driven by their quest, inspired the townsfolk to come together, uniting them in a common purpose. The final challenge awaited. In a climactic battle with the relentless force of time, Daniel and Emily confronted the sorcerer's hourglass. With unwavering determination, they combined their strengths and faced the true test of their hearts. At the brink of despair, when all seemed lost, they reached deep within their souls and discovered the power of love and courage. It was the moment that broke the cycle, shattering the hourglass and dispelling the time loop. Chapter 3 – A New Beginning With the time loop broken, Hopeville was restored to its former glory. The town flourished, its people rekindled old friendships and forged new connections. 
Daniel and Emily had grown close throughout their journey and found solace in each other's company. Epilogue, The Endless Revolution The Endless Revolution became the story of Hopeville, a tale of overcoming the most challenging odds and the eternal fight against the relentless passage of time. The town and its inhabitants had learned that with resilience, love, and courage, they could overcome any obstacle, no matter how insurmountable it may seem. Daniel and Emily, having found happiness in each other and in the newfound unity of Hopeville, understood that life was precious and worth cherishing. As the cherry blossoms bloomed in the park, they gazed at the clear blue sky, knowing that their struggle had not only broken the time loop but had also illuminated their path towards a brighter future. And so, the endless revolution became an enduring legend, reminding all who heard it that even in the face of the most insurmountable challenges, the human spirit could prevail, and that with resilience, love, and courage, they could create a brighter tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Please hit the like button if you like this video, and hit the subscribe button to learn English through watching these kinds of interesting stories daily. Please click on the screen on any video showing on your screen to watch it next. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video till the end.